now to the party crashers. It's a Tostinos Fiesta Bowl. Utah winning the toss and deferring. So Furman of the Pitt Panthers is stopped short of the 15-yard line. And now Tyler Palco, the homegrown product, started at West Allegheny High School. In Pitt's last five games, he's thrown 16 TDs with only two interceptions. Here on the first play, toss to Tim Murphy, who will operate at tailback because Raymond Kirkley is out with an injury. Now the Tostitos Pittsburgh offense. And his favorite target is rangy Greg Lee from Tampa, Florida, 1,000-yard receiver. The offensive line is anchored by left tackle Rob Petiti. Folks, he has been bothered all day by the flu. The coaches are going to monitor him very carefully and see that he has enough fluid. It is now second down and long for Palco and the Panthers, who come in as a 16-point underdog to the winners of the Mountain West. Murphy cuts back to the middle short of the first down. Straight back. Time, first down to the 36-yard line. Greg Lee with his first reception. First down and 10, straight eye formation. Play fake, off the action, two for two, out of bounds against this Utah defense. The Utah defense now, and it features 330-pound tackle Sione Buaha, who bench presses 475 pounds. Linebacker Spencer Toon completed his two-year Mormon mission down in Australia. And at free safety, Morgan Scalley, he's intercepted six passes and returned to kickoff for a touchdown this year. And Joe Del Sardo was the target on that last pass, and they have crossed midfield after the 19-yard gain. Palco hands off to the fullback. He crosses the 45-yard line. Second down and eight. They run the toss flea flicker. Here comes Palco. Receiver couldn't get open. Palco freelances. On third down, sidestepping, under pressure, throws it away. High punt. Pittsburgh will, could not stop it inside the 10-yard line, so it'll come out on the 20. Features motion, goes empty in the backfield, spreads it out wide now. With Marty Johnson out to the right, fires middle, caught complete, and a first down on the first player of the game. Well, Smith is Utah's first Heisman Trophy finalist. So now it is first down and 15 after the penalty, and the Utes will start back on the 15-yard line. Here is that motion look, and then using the running game off of it straight ahead and probing with Marty Johnson. Now, here's our Tostitos Utah offense. Smith's home run target, we've seen him, is Savoy. Remember now, he can catch and run, too, on that end around. And the offensive line features Hawaiian Chris Kemoyatu, his brother, a uh, defensive lineman, and they were the two that led the way out. Again, he empties out the backfield against that base 4-3 look. Offensive line gives Alex time. He comes over the middle to Paris Warren. Against Warren was a middle linebacker. On first down, Smith chased out of the pocket on the move, and it is at the 40-yard line. Moving the pocket, there's that shovel pass, and on the completion, Paris Warren picks up the Utah for the first down. So now the Pittsburgh defense, and they feature senior tackles Dan Stevens and all Big East, Vince Krachunas. Linebacker H.P. Blades, and yes, he is the son of former All-Pro safety Benny Blades. Ten Miami Hurricanes here with us tonight. Three-year starter Tez Morris is one of the best tacklers on this Pitt team. He's got to prevent big plays here tonight. First down and 10, Utah's first drive of the game under pressure. Drops it off to Warren. Warren in a foot race has space. And he is out of bounds across the 30-yard line. An offense that spreads the field wide and then will come back right up the middle. He can come back to Utah next year or he can go to the NFL. We've been told by sources that he will declare for the draft. We'll have to wait and see how that story unfolds. 
brought enough credits from Helix High School down San Diego way. And here he is just simply taking off. They gave him the corner and he picks up the first and ten. Face mask signal with five wide. Sometimes they'll use motion from their slots. This time they do not. He comes back left and underneath to John Matson again. The three protectors and they break quickly to get down the field to cover. Urban Myers, a special teams coach, and he's got this one down inside the five yard line. This is a big Utah crowd here tonight, folks, as Murphy steps over to the left side. That was a great view. On second down, firing for the first down. If he gets a spot, Del Sardo appeared to be beyond the yellow marker. <laughs> it is uh, now first down and 10. And off the play fake, the left-hander. Again, can't get anybody open. Trying to reach out. Now Paco, back in the pocket, gets chased off to the left. And bounces one. Del Sardo was very well covered. Second down and 10 for Paco in the offense. With the split backs, he'll drop the screen off to Furman. Furman is nailed. Third down for the Panthers. He has time, but still can't get an open receiver. Scrambles off to the left. Still waits. Fires for the first down, and it was almost intercepted. He just does get it off. They've had about five punts blocked this year, and Utah went after that one. There's no penalty thrown by the referee. I mean, while Ganther checks in, the running backs for Utah are interchangeable. And here he comes across midfield, and it is first down. Bringing one receiver in motion, and Smith keeping it for no more than a gain as Clint Session facing second and nine. Time hits his underneath man, and for the third time, and third down, and nine yards to go. Pittsburgh coming with the linebackers this time, and as the result, Paris Warren there in the middle. Smith couldn't find anybody open. And the runner takes off, and he is to the 26. They can always come back, pick up their first down, and here comes that reverse motion. The double reverse this time with Paris Warren, and he is inside the 10-yard line. It's first and goal. Smith. Stumbles to the four-yard line with the line's middle marker right there. Urban Meyer prefers this shotgun wide open look down here. Touchdown, Utah! Quinton Ganther. Well, it took about 12 minutes. But Utah finally is on the board. Youngster who took over the kicking duties because of an injury. Nails the extra point. The freshman from Bountiful, Utah makes it 7-0 as you take another look here at Panther. It was jammed in the middle. He just took off and made something out of nothing. Where they're going to come from. Fielded on the 11-yard line by Furman. Furman jumps a defender and fumbled out of bounds at the and uh, first down and 10. Paco extends to Murphy. Murphy jumps a defender and picked up eight yards on that carry. We certainly wish him well in the NFL. On a cutback run, Murphy can he get to the first down? He is denied. Third down. Palco sneaks against this Utah defense, and of course the Utah defense is a story. It is first down and 10 for Pittsburgh. There's the reach, and here comes Murphy. Not getting much as he is jammed at the line of scrimmage. 
Final 30 seconds here on second down and long quarterback draw. Falco steps back and he cannot escape as Fafita. End of the first quarter. They were expecting a high scoring, high flying football game. But instead, it's been a bit of a defensive struggle. But favorite Utah leads the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl by seven. It's can the ball get to Greg Lee? That's the problem. Here is third down. Tyler is forced to run. Can he get it? Dives and he is short of the first down. Very strong punter. Weddle driven back inside the 10 yard line. There's a penalty flag here tonight. I think they held Grady Marshall Go for it again. There's a penalty flag also as Gressel drills it. And this one will roll dead about the 12-yard line. But the uh, third Offside. Defense. Yeah, that's what it was. That's a five-yard penalty. Results in a first down, Utah. And now on a first and ten. Go fires and his receiver juggle incomplete. Here's the blitz on him. Fires middle diving reception at the 35 yard line. Okay. Number 29, Ryan Smith is going after Lee, and Palco comes back the other way this time, incomplete. Palco on second down. Fires to Del Sardo coming across, a little bit short of a first down. Falco trying to get a feel, and it's caught, and let's see where the spot is. It looks to be right at that first down marker, who was Fitzgerald's passer last year. Play fake now by Palco. Not going to get it off. Down at the 29-yard line with Weddle, the strong safety. Go in trouble again. The pocket did not hold up as Marquez led better. Three down linemen for Coach Whittingham as the play clock was expiring. Palco forced to take off. And he is down at the 30 yard line. So here's Josh Cummings who won three games for the Panthers this year. And this will be a 48 yarder. For the junior, the JC transfer from California. He was hitting it from this spot in practice. But this one's blocked. The special team advantage continues for Utah. It has been one of the big differences in this game so far. Alex Smith on that keeper. Rides the belly like the option look. Second down and two, and uh, Smith with that inside shovel pass. The subject of our, where he had coached earlier up to the Wasatch. And Gross Cup really popularized it. And now Urban Meyer taking advantage of it. And down Florida away, Chris Leak. Here, second down. Nine minutes to go in a half, and Alex Smith on that pitch to Johnson. And, uh, Pittsburgh jumps that play. Third down and 13. Uh, I was reminded by a viewer recently, Jack, that there's another. There's the completed pass. Now put it in Warren's hands. Warren, close to the first down. It'll depend on, uh, yeah, he got the spot. Has a first and 10 just across midfield. Straight back, firing for another first down to the 32-yard line. First down and 10. Smith is jammed in the middle. To the middle, complete and short of the first down. At Alex Smith with another third down. The Utes are two of three on third down so far tonight. Smith to throw for it. 
Mike gets the boy inside the 10 yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Utes. Smith naked in that backfield. The five big fellas giving plenty of time, and he fires for a touchdown to Madsen. John Madsen with the Utes' second touchdown of the night. That offensive line, Kemoyatu, Alona, Dirkma, Tapola, and Boone. Just schooled the DB. And Carroll, the freshman, tacks on the extra point. This Utah offense can move the ball against anyone in college football. There's no doubt in my mind. And now Pittsburgh badly needs a rally. He handled it right at the goal line. So grandson of Eddie Robinson presented the award to Coach Meyer. In the ground game to Colorado State. Last time I had a chance to uh, cover one of the games that Urban was coaching and assisted for Lubick as uh, Marcus Furman checks in. At third down and short. Here's the toss for the first down for Furman. Uh, had already agreed in uh, theory with, uh, with the Gators. And uh, he will go down there and coach at Gainesville. Here's Murphy back in replacing Furman. Well, out of bounds, the state jumped him pretty good. Second down. Palco hit on the release. Del Sardo reaching toward the first down marker. He's third and inches. That will be an entirely different looking offense than what we saw from the Gators last night. Palco stands in, and he's got Lee for the first down. Great. Lee's fourth catch of the night for 42 yards, working against the freshman corner. Palco dumps off over the middle of Murphy, the running back. He's across the 45. If you don't get pressure on him, he's going to complete passes. Murphy's got the first down. So the playoffs have started with the wild card delay. First down and 10, and Palco off a fake firing deep juggled incomplete he threw the double coverage Falco's in trouble tripped down at midfield and he was tripped up by Fenene for the Panthers it's a three-man rush Falco's forced on the move to the underneath man and Furman and of course that'll be well short of the uh, of the first down Down at the 20-yard uh, line. In trouble, steps away from it. And he goes out of bounds to stop the clock hit. And there the belly play, and coming back is Ganther, who scored. The experts in those matters had said this one would soar into the 60s, and so far there's no indication of that here tonight. But we still have the second half, and there was a whistle uh, flag. Before the snap, false start offense, number six. That's a five-yard penalty. Still third down. And that'll do it. So unbeaten Utah under Urban Meyer as their coach for the last time. Up by 14. Still a long time to go. A lot of time in these big bowl games because of the length of halftime. You think you're looking at two football games, so we shall see. So Utah deferring after winning the flip will have the first possession here of the second half. Gressel puts it into the end zone. Nagahe brings it out to the 20 yard line where he's down. The mirror image of that defense too. play deep play it keep everything in front of you. Start off with a running play with Marty Johnson the senior from Sacramento. Ball spotted at the. 22 yard line with a second and seven for Alex Smith. Utah's first Heisman Trophy finalist drops it off to the middle. Well placed football into traffic and Paris Warren. And again, we expect him to declare for the uh, NFL draft, even though he could go back to Utah for one final season. And with a beautiful ball fake, he is very, very close. To they recruited a junior college quarterback. They didn't think he'd be the guy. 
First down on the dive by Alex. Good throw boy. for nine yards a day. He's the leading uh, Utah receiver. Smith off a fake. Fires sideline. Complete. And here is Harris Warren again. Option look inside shovel pass. Johnson breaks free. Touchdown Utah. They strike with the first possession of the second half and an 18 yard score for Marty Johnson on the shovel pass reception thrown by Alex Smith. So Alex Smith now. Behind the line of scrimmage, it works and taking advantage in this offense. And the freshman David Carroll tacks on the extra point. You see it, once you get that ball to that running back, it doesn't matter if that guard's five yards downfield, you can pitch it late. This time to Marty Johnson, called play. You get big Fafita downfield, excuse me, Fafita downfield, and they get him. Playing Pittsburgh, and during that commercial break, they were starting to chant, overrated, overrated. Kick is fielded by Furman. And he is down at the 16-yard line. Palco in the uh, in the shotgun regarding this Utah defense. Here's the, uh, the long handoff to Murphy. Brought down. Now the Utah defense, of course, has dominated Pittsburgh. Second down and seven for Palco. Drop it off now to Murphy, short of the first down marker. So third down and three. And Palco. In trouble, he's going to be sacked he's inside the 15-yard line. But he died. Great game by Fafita. So far. Penalty flag has been thrown again. Fielded by Weddle. He's short of midfield, but there was a uh, penalty flag. Now they'll decline that. You can see Savoy out to the right. Johnson steps over to the right-hand side. And they hand to the running back into the middle. Back. Throws deep. Incomplete. So he. Third down. Smith, he can run for the first down. And he steps right across it. And the quarterback will take more hits. I don't know if a quarterback can last 11 games in the SEC doing with Alex Smith is doing in this conference. That'll be the big challenge for Chris Lee. Battling for a first down and he has got it. Well, you know, it's uh, we have Dave on the telephone with us now live here from Miami. It's, this pass is deflected by complete Savoy and he is down to the 22. Alec Smith, the uh, Utah quarterback now with a second down. Firing Warren going for the end zone. Touchdown! 23 more yards and an extra point away from 28-0. Yeah, coach, would you have blitzed on that one? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's the job, and these players have have really uh, exceeded, I think, what anybody expected them to do this year. They're, yeah, it will be. You know, it's, uh, that will be a great opener for both schools, and uh, I'm glad it's in, in you know in Pittsburgh. Is really the amount of time, as you can appreciate, or I should say, the, the short amount of time that you have with the college players as compared to what we had in the NFL. That's going to be the biggest thing of, of just managing the time with the players. Utah, favored by 16, leads it 28 0. And Furman for a first down across midfield. Little deflected incomplete. And once that ball's deflected and bang, the wide receiver is all hit by the defensive back who knew the rule. Palco gonna lob one deep and incomplete. The Nokia Sugar Bowl, Auburn, also unbeaten, will play Virginia Tech. Palco fires complete for a first down. The same play. Palco. Fake from the eye, wants Lee in the corner, penalty flag. They are catch. going to call touchdown. 
They were going to call interference, yes, then they a were. touchdown. He threw the flag, and then the touchdown call of 31 yards, and the Panthers are on the board. That was a Larry Fitzgerald catch right there. Ball comes to the outside shoulder. Watch him look right over his helmet, just like Larry Fitzgerald, and look at that catch. That's as good as you can do it. That one badly. And one thing that we will remind everybody about Tyler Palco. Appreciate it. Americans have opened up their heart and wallets across this country for that uh, devastating, devastating event down there. The kickoff is being brought out by Justin Walker. Justin breaks daylight. Penalty flag has been thrown. So foul that second one. Yep. Warren, shovel pass. And he is. And Mike took a couple of other assistants with him down to the Vegas job. Alex Smith keeps it again. A beautiful fake as he read the defense and sprints to the 30 yard line. Panther is now out, giving him five wide. Offensive line gives him beautiful protection. Oh, yeah, and yeah, there's that's the call at the 44-yard uh, line. Smith hit on the release, and it is low. Okay, second down and ten. Here's Smith. That shovel pass working beautifully to the inside to Paris Warren. Wild card, double header, third down. And one Smith again brought down from behind. First down and ten, a handoff. And uh, how many passes they intercept that night? Four or five yeah, four or in five. that championship game. Look how Smith open. fires to Warren. First down and ten. Is that spread looking a uh, a whistle up? Two fellas. Ball start. Ball start. Offense. Offense. Number seventy-eight. Five-yard penalty, still first down. I know that Ron Zook did a fine job of recruiting, but that's just part of it. And uh, Urban Meyer is on his way to the SEC. He's been a success every place else. What did he play in high school? Baseball. Uh, baseball player moving <laughs> over to football. Savoy oh, gets it on. on. Back to Warren. Warren. Touchdown, Utah. Flea flicker off the screen. How about that one? Never seen that play. That was brand new, wasn't it? Yep. They broke the seal off of that one. For Steve this game. Spurrier didn't even invent one like that. The old ball coach is going to break that one down. Play. 35 to 7. Now remember, this team hasn't played in a while, and they run a high risk screen and pitch. And touchdown. Does it get any better than that? That is fun. I'm telling you, Utah can play with anybody. I'm telling you that right now. Take a knee and it'll come out of the 20 yard line. And had 11 catches as a junior Kevin, against uh, Ohio State in that famous championship game. Presentation of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl will return after this message and a word from our ABC station. Leading at 35 to 7. Tyler Paco and the uh, Panthers coming out from their own 20. On the run, fires complete out to the 36 uh, yard line. First down and 10. Faked by Palco. Look at that coverage. And down at the 23 yard line, Hackenbrook, the senior from Bend, Oregon. Chasing it can all uh, bench press 460 pounds. Good luck. Here comes another one. They okay. set the screen against it this time. And Murphy Great picks up the first down. Hit, released. Boy, did he take it trying to get it to Lee. Field and a short of the first down. Well, uh, third down and short now for the, uh, you know, for the Panthers. You, you learn them real fast, though, when they make that many plays. Stick with the last names, and you will there be safe. There he goes again. Broadcasters got in on him again. There's a penalty flag hour. Before the snap, false start, offense, right guard. That's a five-yard penalty. Still third down. 
third down for Palco. Penalty flag is thrown. And Palco scrambling for the first down. Holding. Offense. Number 62. Buha's coming. Palco steps away from him. Incomplete. Tried to get it downfield. Under pressure, gets it off. Fair catch at the 26 yard line by safety Eric Weddle. It's 35 7 already. And uh, Gordon was a heck of an official through the years out of the Pac 10. And a very, very nice man on top of it. So second down and eight. They set the shovel pass again with Warren. Fumble. Fumble and. And recovered by the Panthers as Morris. The safety jumps on it. But he also a uh, costly turnover at the end of it. Palco firing. Lee in zone incomplete. And the field judge says no. Lee with six catches for 82 yards. And Pittsburgh's lone touchdown here tonight. At the 20 yard line, that should be a first and 10. Palco down 35 7, continues to battle. Here they come. All out blitz. Incomplete. Steps up. Incomplete. Murphy again throws a block, but Palco. Can't get it off. And he is sacked at the 28 by Hackenbrook. Cummings will try it again. The punter is the holder. He'll put it down. Just inside the 35. No good. It is still 35-7. Unbeaten Utah. They have tied Nebraska and Colorado with the most sacks in a Fiesta Bowl at seven. Nebraska did it against Florida back in 1996. Alex Smith going deep Savoy incomplete and almost picked off by Rebus. Second down. There's the running play with Ganther who scored their first touchdown. There is the the first down. The, this is not an easy move for him out to the West Coast. But uh, the time had come. Got a lot of talent coming back on offense, especially. Short of Smith's basket. Savoy is yanked down. They have dominated with 438 total yards. More coming. As Savoy picks up the first down to the 40-yard line. On first down, Alex Smith firing in zone, incomplete. Now again, we fully expect him to declare for the NFL. There he was running the ball. Gary, let me ask you this. Winners of the AFC West. Drew ran a similar offense to this. Ooh, got hit on that one, didn't he? Buried. On the move. Alex will get thrown out of bounds, and uh, Pittsburgh will take over. That was Joe Clearman. Uh, not happy. Calco did just get that off and forced the ball downfield all night. Incomplete. Del Sardo. Short of the first down. Oh, there's a bad snap. They're and Gresser going to take off. Got a chance. He got there. Looks like he got the first down. First down at 10. After Gressel picked up the first with the seven yards. Sacked again. And there is the record. 
eight sacks. Pass to Warren. What a beautifully designed and executed play. Del Sardo. Kyle Whittingham signaling in the defense. Del Sardo for the first and ten. Throws on his toes and he's very tough and accurate. Got him. Beautiful. Incomplete. Safeties are coming. Hit him on the release. And it's incomplete. Here they come again. Dances away. And just throws it incomplete. It was 28 for 36 for 325 yards. Down he goes. Down goes Palco for the ninth time. And final 219 to wrap up an unbeaten season for the little team that could. The fairy tale out of the Wasatch. And, uh, As if that's all you can do. So Kyle Whittingham becomes the next head coach of Utah. And we ask Kyle. As they wind down the clock, we want to thank the executive producer of ABC Sports, Mike Pearl. Alex Smith still dancing, the senior producer, Bob Toms, and supported their unbeaten football team. A dream season, a dream come true. Marty Johnson. For the little team that could from the Mountain West. Urban Meyer. Looking for Walt Harris as he uh, dries himself off. A 35-7 triumph, and unfortunately, uh, an exchange there between a couple of players. Very, very unfortunate to have it end on, uh, on something like that. Urban and Walt, friends. As Utah winds up with a dream season behind Alex Smith. Utah's first Heisman Trophy finalist, who tonight was 29 of 37 for 328 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. The celebration continues, and I'm sure it's underway in Salt Lake. ABC Sports online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. Consideration, studio host Chloe. And then Monday night, of course, the BCS continues as undefeated Auburn takes on Virginia Tech in the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Once again, our final score 35 to 7.